So I'm excited to show you the Simon Says is new native integration for DaVinci Resolve for Macs. So if you've installed the scripts in the right directory uh, on your computer, you should see in the workspace menu scripts, Simon Says, and three scripts here. Uh, one A and one B are to uh, create markers on clips and number two is when you've edited your video and now you want to subtitle or caption it, uh, use script number two. So let's start with number one. Um, you have a you have clips in your bin. In this case, we have one SVA no music two dot MP4, and we select one A. So it is um, it's asking for permission. Okay. And we have the Simon Says Mac app open. I'm going to open it. And you can see it is uploading, it's transcoding, and then it will upload. Once it uploads, I will come back. So, uploading completed. Now we want to select the language English. As a reminder, Simon Says transcribes in 100 languages. We go transcribe. Let's do this. Cool. And uh, it should be ready in a minute or so. I'm back. It took a minute to transcribe. Here's the transcript. Jump ahead. You can see the transcript in the Simon Says Mac app. Uh, you can edit it. You can add speaker labels, uh, add a note, bookmarks, etc. And then when you're ready to send it back to Resolve, you go to the export icon. Hit DaVinci Resolve and you select Markers, go Next. And so what it's done is it's saved the Markers file on your computer. So then you go back to Resolve and you select Script number 1B. Attach that transcript marker file back to the original clips you imported. Great. So you can see this carrot has, has appeared. And now you can see um, you can see the transcript markers are right here. So you can see uh, if I had added the speaker names, you would have seen instead of no speaker the actual speaker name. You can see the transcript marker, and. If you, if I had uh, given it, uh, given uh, added the speaker names here, you would see each speaker having their own color, which makes it really easy to identify and cut to. So that's how you add transcript markers to clips in DaVinci Resolve. What if you want to subtitle and translate your um, your uh, edit? So let's go to the second script. So it says. Subtitle caption timeline. Now it's rendering out your your edit, and it's sending that to, and it will send that to the Simon Says uh, Mac app. Awesome. Let me pull up the Mac app. Here it is. It's uploading. Cool. Let's, uh, the language is English, and we'll transcribe it. And I'll come back once it's transcribed. Great, so it transcribed, and you can see here the transcript in the Simon Says Mac app. Let's translate these English subtitles to Italian. All right, it's gonna take a few seconds.
done. That was quick. Now you have your uh, your transcript translated to Italian. You can, you know, from here use the visual subtitle editor so you can preview how this uh, paragraph text will be formatted uh, formatted on screen, uh, like where the breaks will occur, for example. And then um, say you just wanted to like export right to Resolve, so you just like um, go to download SRT and those S that SRT file will appear in your downloads folder. Let me go jump over there. So back in, so downloaded to the SRT file, downloaded to my downloads folder. Now I want to import subtitle. Let's go to the downloads folder. Here you go. And there we go. Ta da! So there we go. So we need to move this. Let's redo that because it needs to actually align with the audio. We started SV Academy about a year and a half ago. If we really think about it, for Joel and I, there it goes. Yeah, it's all aligned. So once you have uh, the SRT uh, file in here and it's aligned, you can select all and adjust the text size, color, formatting. So yeah, that's how to quickly uh, and easily transcribe your clips and get back markers with speaker labels and notes. You can uh, caption your video and you can also get uh, translated subtitles too and all really, really simple uh, right within uh, DaVinci Resolve natively and with the Simon Says Mac app.